I'm going to show you guys how to find the exact values of some trig functions and some angles and the angles that we'll be dealing with right here will be measured in radians. And the deal is that you don't have to memorize the unit circle, but you do have to remember the ratio of the sides of the two special right triangles. And the strategy is that we will look at all these angles and come up with the reference triangle and then figure out the values of this right here. First one, we have secant of 5 pi over 4. Okay, in order for me to come up with the picture for the reference triangle, right? This is 5 pi over 4, it's in radians. I don't know how big I have to draw the picture, things like that. I don't know how many degrees or things like that to turn, right? So a good strategy is, let me convert the radians into degrees first. So let me put down 5 pi over 4 radians, and I will multiply by 1. 80 degrees over pi and you see the pi and pi will cancel right away and now you can just do the computation whichever way that you want you can do 5 times 180 and then divide it by 4 okay use a calculator or things like that at the end you will end up with 225 degrees and from here i will be able to show you all right let's draw the x and y axis and let me just keep track right we turn and then make sure we have enough 225 degrees. Starting from here, positive x-axis, and then we're going to turn, right? Positive 225. We know from here to here is 180 already. How many more do we need? We need 45 degrees more. So this is pretty much a picture I'll have, right? And then you will know this is the terminal side of that reference triangle. And this right here is our reference angle, which is 45 degrees, right? And now I can just go ahead and make a right triangle like this. And be sure you always use the x-axis, right? So you have the x-axis, and then you draw a line straight down like this. And here is my reference triangle. And for the reference triangle, if this kind of questions are asking you to, value, to do these values without the calculator, the reference triangle will always be uh, the special right triangles. Anyways, this is 45. This is also going to be 45, right? So that means this right here will be 1 and 1, right? However, because this is to the left, so this is negative 1. This is down below, so this is also negative 1. And for the hypotenuse here, it's just square root of 2. So we fill in the values of the ratio of the sides right here. And if you would like, you can just go ahead and indicate that, okay, this is x equal to negative 1, and y equals to negative 1, and this is the r, which is square root of 2. All right, so at the end, we can figure out, we know secant 5 pi over 4, and you have to remember the definition of secant. Secant is what? Secant is the hypotenuse, which is the r, over adjacent, which is the x, right? So in this case, it is r over x. That will give us secant, which it will be square root of 2 over negative 1, which altogether you can write it as negative square root of 2. And that's it. All right, let's look at the next one. We have cosine of 2 pi over 3. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Convert this into degrees, just like that, and then draw the picture, and then do our usual business. So let's go ahead, put down 2 pi over 3, and we multiply by 180 degrees over pi. And then you'll see pi and pi will cancel, and you can just go ahead and reduce, right? Multiply and reduce. 2 times 180 is 360, divided by 3 is uh, 120. So this is 120 degree like that. 120 degrees like this. Okay, picture time like this and like that keep track from here right from here this is 90 degrees already i need to have 30 more so this is the 30 more that i need to have right so this is 30 more and i will draw my terminal side which is like this okay this much is 30 that will tell me this much will be 60 degrees this is the reference angle right so this is much more important than that and then from here let's go ahead and make our uh, reference triangle so i will just color this in red like this and then like this and then you always draw the line straight down right let's always make the 
vertical line toward the x-axis, just like that as well. All right, now, remember the ratio of the sides of a special right triangle. In this case, it's the 30, 60, 90 case, right? This is a smaller angle. That means this right here will be the smaller side. That means this right here will be 1. But it's toward the left, so it's technically negative 1. This right here, it will be square root 3, right? Past the square root 3, because it's above the x-axis. And this right here will be 2. Right? So, this is pretty much all we need, and if you would like, you can indicate this is x, this is y, and this is the r. At the end, we can say that cosine of 2 pi over 3, which is the same as, um, you can look at this triangle as adjacent over hypotenuse, or x over r. Right? So, I will write this down as x over r, which is going to give me negative 1 over 2. So negative 1 half for the answer. Alright, last one. Tangent of negative 11 pi over 6. So right here, let's go ahead. Negative 11 pi over 6, we multiply by 180 degrees over pi. Pi, pi, cancel, right? So now, you can reduce if you like 6 and 180. So you can just cross this out. This is 1, this is 30. And then 30 degrees, this is 30, right? 30 degrees. 30 degrees times 11 is 330, but that's negative. So altogether, it's negative 330 degrees, right? Just do it whichever way that you would like. This is 180 degrees, and this is the 30 degrees. OK, so negative 330 degrees. Do this study more carefully because we have negative angles. So right here, let me just draw the picture. Negative angle means that I turn backwards, but start from here as well. And now let's see, from here to here is 180, right, backwards, and then 270. In order for me to get 330, I will have to go 60 more, isn't it? So this right here is 60 degrees more, but I will just make our terminal side to be like this, right? This much is 60 degrees, that means this right here will be 30 degrees, okay? And now let me just make this into my reference triangle, like this. Okay, so pretty much the same one, but uh, in the first quadrant instead. Anyways, right here, as you can see, uh, this is the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. 30 degrees right here, so that means this is going to be 1, right? Past the 1 as well. Right here, this is going to be the 60 degrees, right? This is 60 degrees, so this is square root of 3. The hypotenuse is just going to be 2. Anyways, this is the y equals to 1, x equals to square root of 3, r equals to 2. At the end, let's work out tangent. Here is my tangent value. Tangent of negative 11 pi over 6 equals to well, it's y over x, isn't it? So let me indicate that for you. y over x for tangent, which is going to be 1 for y over square root of 3 for x. OK, I have square root 3 in the denominator, so let's go ahead and do this, right? So now, square root of 3 on the top over a regular 3 on the bottom, and we are done. And you should watch my next video, because I will show you how we are going to utilize the unit circle idea to work out the values of the trig functions when we have quadrantal angles. But at the moment, that's it.